Come to a warm up and mobility, sat down on the chair. So I want you to get your bum and wheel it right into the back of the chair. Make sure you feel comfortable and you're sitting with your back straight. So really lengthen up. No slouching, bring your shoulders back and take a deep breath in. Okay, so let's start. We're going to roll one shoulder, then the other. So mobility, we're going to warm up the muscles, but then warm up the joints, so the synovial fluid in the joints. Get that more viscous, more runny. It lubricates the joints. And prepare you for the day ahead, hopefully. Get you motivated, invigorated, ready to do whatever you're doing. Hopefully it'll be coming to my classes online or in the halls. Okay, roll them both together. Just give a squeeze there. So quite often we get tight around the neck and shoulders. So let's give them a really good squeeze into your chest, into your back. Get those muscles all rubbing over each other. And if you're doing this first thing in the morning, sometimes there's a lot of fuzz that builds up between all the muscles and connective tissue. So as we move and warm up, it dissolves and lets us move more freely. Let's circle one arm. Circle the other. Now do both together. Big reach up. I'm losing the arms, aren't I? Circle. <laughs> Circle. Both together. Big stretch. And again. So you've still got your bum stuck right in the back of the chair. We're sitting really tall. Let's do that two more times. Single arm circle, single arm circle. Both together. And one more time. And of course, you could do this standing up or kneeling if you want to. Okay, take the palms together. We're going to do a little rotation and center. Rotate the other way. So sit with your bum really still, legs still, feet hip distance apart, and we're rotating the spine. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale as you set comes to center if you want to. You don't have to follow the breathing pattern. So we're getting that twist. Just really slowly, no rush. So we're getting the spine moving, getting that fluid into the discs to nourish the spine. Try and lengthen as much as you can as well. It's a little twist side to side. Excellent. Okay, take the fingertips onto the shoulders. Let's go a little bit quicker. Side, centre. Side, centre. If your chair gets in the way, then maybe put your hands back in front again. I can get my arm over the top of the back of this one. And it's quite a high chair. Okay, both arms reach up. Fan the arms. Palms down. Push them up. And then open them down by the side of the chair. And again, lift up. Palms together, little push and open. Go do that again. Apply a little bit of pressure between the palms and the hands as you bring them down. Slide your shoulder blades down the back so we're not shrugging. And one more. Excellent. Arms down by the side. A little side bend. Slow and center. If you've got any back issues, you might need to make this much smaller. You can always hold on to the side of the chair if you feel like you're going to fall off. Or take your feet a bit wider so you've got more of a stable base. Side and centre. Okay, we can add a reach over with one arm. And reach over with the arm. Still trying to keep it side to side. We're not slouching, are we? No, we're keeping really tall, we're lengthening the spine, we're trying to elongate the spine, almost decompress the discs, like you're trying to create space between each vertebrae and disc. Both arms, make sure you don't fall off your chair. <laughs> okay, two more. One more. Okay, arms relaxed by the side. Tuck the chin in and nod. And centre. And if you're okay to look up, so cervical spine flexion. 
and extension. If you feel like that, that look cool. Do that again. Now, if you're okay with your back, let's keep going with that flexion. Do a very little half roll down, and then roll it back up. And you can just look straight ahead now. So tuck the chin in, flexion to your spine. Okay, don't do that if you've got any back issues. I mean, if it's tight muscles, yeah, go for it, but if you've got any problems with the spine, like a slip disc, or osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, you might just want to keep it really small. One more. Okay, raise one heel, place it down. Lift the heel, place it down. So you see you're starting to get a little bit of movement from your hip, tiny bit of movement through your hips. When you're moving your ankles, ankle mobility. So you got to lift. You place your hands on your legs or by the side or across your chest. So we're going to start to do the tiniest little lift. So we're going to go slow. Lift your right foot off the floor. Place it down. So you want your bum well tucked into the back of the chair. So it's not a really easy one. We're trying to get the hip flexor. Fire up there. That's so the time you lift up. And look. So it's only a tiny lift. So you get the back of your leg off the chair. Or lift your foot up. As soon as your foot comes up, your hip flexors are going to be working. That's that tiny lift. Can we extend the leg and then place it down? Tiny lift, extend. If you can't lift the leg up, just extend from your knee, place it down. You can modify that. Good. Or do the lift. The lift, extend, flex and lower. Lift, extend. One more. Okay, take one leg out to the side and back in. Out to the side. If you can slide it out, again, you can hold on to your chair. Just take the leg out, back in. So just getting that external sort of movement there. Good, taking it out. And in. Exhale away, inhale back in. It's turned into some sort of chair dance, isn't it? <laughs> Four more to go. Four. Three. Still keeping tall and centered. Try and keep your body still. Two more. And one more. Well done. Take one leg forwards, just circle your ankle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change direction. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side, circle. 10. I want you to share this with everybody at the end of the class, if you would. Especially if you know anybody who needs to sit down and do some mobility exercises. Circle your ankle. By the way. So if you know someone who's stuck in a chair, can't really do much, send them this video and see what, see what they can do. Let's do some circles with the wrists. Circle the wrists, round and round. And then the other way. Oh, I'm clicking today. <laughs> okay, let's do those shoulders and roll. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's reach it up. And out. So there we go. That's our quick mobility warm-up. Sat on a chair today. Please like and share if you would. One more time. Take your hands together. Bring it down through the middle. Give yourself a clap. Well done. Thank you very much. Awesome. Please press share. Share from the chair. 
<laughs> Thank you.